right, ladies and gents, we are back on your screens. This is still the socials, and we got two more boxes, yo, from the RKL International Boxing Gym. Right, next to me, Elohim Kupula, and next to him, Sheldon Schultz. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, you look good. You were even saying this off cam just before you got on you. You're both looking at each other like, hey, old man, you look good, man. You look good. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for having us on your show. I really no, appreciate you guys so 100%. much. Thank no, you. thanks for coming through, guys. Okay, cool. Elohim, let's start with you, right? Boxing. You're a young man. You look yeah. like a fairly young man. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Why would you choose to get into the sports of boxing, especially at such a young age? Yeah, growing up, like, oh, yeah, I wanted to be a president. I was, my dream was to become a president. Since, hey, see, back in my country, I was like, oh, I'm going to be a president, telling yeah. my grandma I'll be a president. Yeah. And then when I came here, seeing my dad, boxing, I'm seeing how good it is, yeah. seeing people, people telling me about it. So I decided, I'm like, I'm going to be a boxer. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be a boxer. No matter what it takes, I'm going to do the sports, even though it means giving up my life, I'll still do boxing. Hey man, so. look, look, you could possibly do both. I mean, Nelson Mandela was once a boxer as well. And then look at where he was, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so don't yeah. give up on your dreams, man. Don't give yeah, up on your dreams. Yeah. But I'm glad that you brought your father up, you know. Um, how is the training with your dad, you know what I mean? Because there are a lot of coaches and trainers out here, but you specifically chose your dad to coach you. Yeah, because for me, for me, I think my dad is the best. That's yeah. why I chose to train with him. He's the best. He trains me well, even though he shouts at me sometimes he if I make to. a mistake. Yeah. But I still know he's doing it for my own good. Yeah, so yeah. training with my dad was the best thing. Hey, man, shout out to the fathers out there. <laughs> All right, Sheldon, my guy. When you walked in here, everyone was like, is this guy a boxer or is he a superstar, <laughs> hip-hop artist? What's going on here? But you said something quite profound, you know what I mean? In terms of like... Um, not fake it till you make it, but walking into what your you know what you should be and manifesting it, you know. So for you, I mean, you're a boxer, but you look dripped and drabbed, and you're looking like a superstar, my man. Like, Thank what you. is it? What? Why do you choose to you know have this kind of look? Like, what does it uh, mean for you, and how do you incorporate it into boxing, man? You know, if you look good, you feel good. Yeah, you yeah. feel good, you look good. Yeah, yeah. And I just believe, no matter where you come from or what you've been through in life. You can always show up looking the best and putting yeah. your best foot forward. Because the end of the day, if you're not serious, no one's going to take you serious. 100%, 100%. You know what I mean? So I just, I like representing and I like good things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what do you like about boxing, my man? Because it seems like you literally could have been in the entertainment space, maybe as a sir. model or something. Yes, but now you choose to beat you. guys up in the <laughs> ring, you know? Why did you choose sure. boxing? Well, it inspired me. Coming from where I came from, like there was no no way out but yeah, either yeah. the thug life and yeah. when I got into boxing it showed me how serious it is. Like you can't be out here playing around and mm. messing up with the people and doing funny things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like seeing the inspiration, like I remember watching Muhammad Ali and I was like, I want that. Mm. I want people to look at me and be inspired and yeah, yeah. have this dream and like no matter who you are, you can achieve it. Yeah. No matter against the odds stacked against you, like you're gonna get up and you're gonna show up and Every day I'm still like surprised that I'm living my dream and yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. making it. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. And boxing's out just showing you that yeah. life can change and life's a battle, but yeah. you got to be brave enough to step in the ring and just face it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, hey, uh, man, you also got to be fit for that because we were talking about this earlier. <laughs> yeah. Man, boxing can take its toll on you. <laughs> I know I was holding the championship earlier, but woo! <laughs> you know, but I actually want to ask uh, the both of you guys this question, you know. Um, like I said, boxing can take its toll on you and there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to, let me start with you, Elohim. You're a young guy, bro. You know what I mean? Um, I'm assuming, and I think it's safe to say that a lot of your social life is also taken away. You know what I mean? How do you now balance, you know, having to be in the gym and training, but also having somewhat of a social life and a personal life? Well, for me, like, I, I can, I manage it because say, sometimes I'll be on my phone and then my dad will be telling me, oh, you're lazy, ah. you don't train, stuff like that. <laughs> shout out, you get off that phone, so, hello him. <laughs> so, so I was like, let me take a decision. Even though I don't go to the gym on school days, let yeah. me just go at least train myself, jogging yeah. every day at five, Sheesh. working out Saturday, I'm at the gym, yeah. sparring people, even though my stamina wasn't good, but now I feel like I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready, next day I'm coming. Hi Elohim, you're a much bigger man than me. Waking up at 5 a.m. to go jogging. <laughs> Whoa. And then for you, Sheldon, I mean, 
like like you said like you're in the streets you literally look like you're in the streets type of thing you know but what what kind of sacrifices did you have to make uh, to you you know move forward in the boxing world a lot a lot everything has to change from your your circle from yeah. your mentality from what you're eating everything mm. has to change because if you're not dedicated like i know it's a sport but we're not playing yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. play fighting Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. you get punched in the eye. That that hurts. Yeah. It's real. It does. So you gotta be fit. You gotta show up, and you gotta always be in the gym because they can call you in two weeks, three days. Yo, we need you to fight, and you gotta be ready because when you step in that ring, it's two lines against each other. So you gotta sacrifice everything to get it all. But why through boxing? What are you trying to achieve with boxing? I want to achieve that platform so that I can inspire people, so that I can show people that no matter what where you are in life you can change that from boxing because when boxing's done i will do something else i'll be either running my own gym or modeling or yeah. hopefully if i still look good <laughs> either acting or rapping or whatever but yeah. there's something to be done but it just shows you that you can do it as long as you have people that believe in you mm. This is the platform. This is where it starts. Yeah, hundred percent. Right, the multi talented <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk divisions, right? So you're a junior welterweight, you said? Yeah, I'm yeah. Junior welterweight. And then for you, Sheldon? I'm a welterweight. Welterweight. Yes, sir. Okay, that's ah oh, man. And um, uh, Seth and Faraday, they told me this earlier on about the the KG. I forgot. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. Yes, sir. Sixty-six. All it's right. Cool. No, and then <laughs> what 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 are the plans? What are you trying to? Um, you know, achieve with in terms of uh, championships. Which championship are you headed towards? Uh, I can say all of them. Ha! All of them. There so. we go. There we go. His father taught him well. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, Sheldon, you were telling us uh, earlier on uh, off camera that you know next year the championship is happening. Yes, it's happening. It's happening. I want that IBO. I want whatever title that comes in my way. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. But next year's big things. We're putting RKL on the map international for nice. a reason because we're going international. Yeah. We got big team people with us. We got a lot of love and we got God, the most important. Yeah. And next year's big things happening. But yeah. it, it, it's been starting. You just haven't seen it. It's been happening. Yeah. That's cool, man. And I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought RKL up. You know, because for you, Elohim. Okay, cool. That's dead. You know yes, what I mean. Yes. But for you, Sheldon, um, because just the energy that I'm getting from all of you guys is like a family. Yes. You guys are together and you support each other. How did you even come across RKL and stay there? <laughs> oh man, funny enough, when I just started my boxing career, I was with um, a, a different coach and that time Raymond was training there yeah. and we were busy sparring and he was beating the living <laughs> out of me, you know, there was blood everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and after he came to me and he was like, you, you, you're gonna be a champ. You just nice. need to have your heart and just stay yeah. dedicated because you, yeah. you're strong, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong. And then, yeah, a few years later, he called me and he was like, I got a fight for you. Hectic. Are yeah. you interested? I'm like, I'll fight anyone, coach. Yeah. And then just getting back together, like seeing like the person he is, like the God-loving person he is and just like, the good heart he has. Yeah. We just connected in the team, like the way it's so hard and where we push each other, like it's really tough. But yeah. when, you, when you're in a tough situation and you fight, it's so easy because yeah. you've been through so much pain and hardship inside the gym but it, it's good when there's people coming up to you and like saying listen i got your back i'm gonna help you i'm gonna get you money to get to transport to to um to the gym and i'm yeah. gonna get you money for food and everything yeah and those elements help because a lot of people just see us enter the ring and fight but mm. they don't see what it takes like you said sacrifice 100 percent you know yeah. Hey man, looking forward to what you guys are gonna be up to and uh, you know, the heights you're gonna reach. I think it's absolutely incredible. Like like I said just now, literally the energy is incredible between you and you RKL guys, you know. So I wish you guys all the best. Thank you know, unfortunately we don't have all day, you know, I'm and we have reached the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> wish we could chill and chat all day, but unfortunately we can't. But before I let you guys go, Elohim, you're telling me, ah, I'm not a social media guy. I'm not doing that. So you're not on any social media no, platform? Only TikTok. Only TikTok. Oh, yeah. Hey, aren't you busy TikTok and oh, dancing? Is that nah, part of your training? Is that, what is that. TikTok? Is that part of your training, my guy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, cool. On TikTok, where can people get a hold of you on TikTok? Um uh, must just write uh AKA Elohim. Don't AKA find Elohim. me. Yeah. AKA Elohim. Don't All right, find me. cool. AKA Elohim on TikTok. And then Sheldon, where can people get you on social media? You can get me on Instagram, Sheldon underscore boxing. Hit me up if you need to know anything about training or you just need to talk. I'm here for you guys. 100%. 100%. So, Yo, so. shout out to you guys. And also, just a big special mention to Raymond, you know what I mean? For bringing the guys together and actually, you know, giving a platform for people to make something out of themselves and, uh, you know, move forward in life. So, big shout out to Raymond and RKL International 
boxing gym all right otherwise guys we've reached the end of it this is the socials uh speaking of the socials we're also on social media you can catch us at the socials underscore sports connect twitter facebook instagram we're not TikToking like Elohim, unfortunately. <laughs> but we are at, uh, on the social media streets in that way. Otherwise, until next week, from myself, Elohim, Sheldon, uh, Faraday, um, Oli's over there, Raymond, and the whole Socials and Sports Connect team. We'll see you next week. We're out.